I used to spend hours to create presentations that not only look beautiful, but that are also effective for storytelling, until I found a free AI tool that changed everything. In today's video, I'm going to share this incredible tool that transforms raw data and boring text into beautiful visualizations in just seconds. No design skills, no complicated software, just simple, stunning visuals at the click of a button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Lore. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next videos. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let me quickly tell you what I'm trying to do here. So I have this report summary. So I have a summary of an analysis that I performed in SQL. Uh, I actually made a whole video on step-by-step -step how I made this uh, analysis. So if you're interested, make sure to check the video that I'm gonna link here. But basically the context is that I'm trying to help a app developer uh, using data from the Apple store to really understand what makes a successful app. And basically, yeah, trying to help this uh, this person, this developer to develop uh, a new app that obviously will, will become successful. As you can see in this report, we have some numbers. But obviously, as you can see here, it's very text heavy and pretty boring to uh, read through. And so the next step for this analysis is to create uh, cool visualizations and charts to uh, really make this uh, easy to follow and read. And so the tool that we are going to use to do that is called Napkin. So if you go to napkin.ai, you can access this page and uh, you have a quick description here on what the app does. But if I go on the pricing uh, at the time of recording this video, everything is for free. I'm actually using the professional plan at zero dollars. And so you can click on get started. And once you sign up, you should see something like this, a free napkin. And so let me now show you the beauty of this app. So I'm going to select all the text of my report, go to napkin and just do a copy paste. And I'm going to call this report summary. And so now the way that this app works is that I'm going to select this text here. I'm going to click on this icon and automatically napkin will suggest a chart that is based on the text that I selected. So as you can see here on the left hand side, I have different options that I can choose from. So let's say that uh, for this one, I like to go for a simple uh, bar chart. I, if I click on styles, I can also change the style of the specific chart that I selected. So I'm going to go for this one and then obviously I can adjust the size and I bring it, for example, a bit more in the center of the screen. I can also select each specific element and again, move it uh, wherever I prefer. And in just a few seconds, I have a very cool chart that is based on the text that I selected. So as you can see here, I have the app type. So for free apps, the average rating is 3.38 as per the text that I selected and 3.72 for the paid apps. And now the beauty of this is that I can pretty much keep going with uh, this feature here. So I'm gonna select the second part of the uh, text that I want to visualize. The first chart that Napkin is suggesting is probably the one that they would uh, like to go for. But for example, for this part of the text, I'm gonna select this chart here. Uh, it's a, a very cool demonstration of what the text is actually saying. So. It's basically trying to summarize why we should go for paid apps instead of free apps. And in this case, I'm going to select this style here. And again, I can select everything in here and bring it to the center of the screen, just like this. Now let's keep going with the other part of my text. So I'm going to select again in here, click on the icon, and then see what recommendation we get from Napkin. So for this one, I will probably go for another line chart and I'm going to select this format here. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna again make it smaller. Yeah, and I'm happy with this. Now the other things that I can do is, for example, I can select this visualization and here you have the icon to download it as an image. So this is also an option in case I just need a visualization and I want to use it in another document. Now, once I'm happy with the final document, I can go on the top right and click on share and I can go to download PDF and let's say single continuous page, export. And if I open the file, this is the final document. And so as a reminder, we started from this boring uh, text that I had in here, and we ended up with this final PDF file that looks like this with uh, uh, different types of visualizations. We have a um, combination of, you know, bar chart with uh, numbers, but also visuals that are just, uh, you know, explaining what the text is in a visual way. And so again, I'm just gonna scrolling down to show you the different kind of uh, 
visualizations that you can bring uh, into your file. Uh, again, very creative. I would probably sp uh, need to spend a, quite a bit of time to understand, you know, maybe this would be a good uh, visualization based on the text here. So save me a lot of time and it's, this is definitely something that I'm going to use in the future going forward. Now, obviously there are some limitations for these apps and uh, this is actually what I try to test at the end of this document. So what I did is uh, just bringing in uh, a lot of uh, numbers and data from, uh, from my data source. And then what I try to do is uh, selecting all of this information and do a chart based on a huge amount of numbers. And actually, as you can see here, then uh, the visualization is not really reflecting the numbers, but um, is actually not uh, giving me any any figures at all. So this is obviously a um, limitation. So, you know, when I, I have only a few figures to uh, visualize in the chart, that works perfectly, like in this example here. But as soon as I have a lot more data points, then uh, the app is not able to visualize correctly uh, those data points. So yeah, keep in mind these limitations, but overall super happy with this app. And again, it's completely for free. So make sure to uh, check it out yourself. And there you have it, a simple step-by-step -step guide to create beautiful visuals in just seconds. If you found at least one useful information in this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can help you even further in the next videos. And in case you want to learn more about the data project that was the base for my report, this is the video tutorial and I will also leave here another video that YouTube thinks might be best for you. So make sure to check it out at the link that you see here in the screen. And while well, enjoy the rest of your day, ciao for now and see you in the next one.